In this video, I will be talking about iNode Reader and some of the features you can use to keep track of everything that there is out there on the internet and then some that you can use either to keep up with general news or to keep up with new and emerging technologies for education. One of the things that I like about this service is one that is free, but it is not free. It's freemium. Uh, what they do is that they allow you to have as many subscriptions as you want but if you want some of their specific features then you have to upgrade and they have a paid service however most of the features that you will need to use it in general are free another advantage is that they have apps for both Android and iOS uh, I don't consider the Windows phone a contender here but uh, for the most part everybody has an Android phone or they have an iPhone or they have an iPad so that's really cool because you can use it on the web and you can use it on a tablet and you can use it on a smartphone the signing process is pretty straightforward and all you gotta do is either go up here where it says sign in or you can come here and click on create free account from here you can create an account using your email address and password or you can sign in using Facebook or Google. Personally, I prefer to make all of my accounts with email and password. The reason for that being that if you allow what is called OA authorizations through Google or Facebook, basically you're allowing this service or the app to have access to your information on Google and Facebook and I'm not too trusting of what they can do with your information thus I choose to sign up for all my accounts or anything that I do on the internet through email and password since I already created an account I'm gonna go ahead and choose over here sign in and I'm gonna sign in once you sign in you're presented with this interface where you can see your dashboard which shows you kinda of like a summary of all of the things that you're subscribed to uh, it gives you over here recommended sources, inactive feeds, uh, tips and tricks. Uh, you can add gadgets. You can come over here and choose your layouts of how you want to customize that. Uh, you can see notifications and then over here you can go even further to adjust your preferences. But one of the most powerful features that I like about this uh, aggregator, newsreader, is that you can come over here into the search and for example I'm gonna type alternative 2 and watch what happened you see right here it shows you all of the fees that are related to alternative 2 which is a service that I use to look at different options for commercially available products whether it be uh, free, freemium, open source for all the different types of operating system and devices one of the ones that I like is this recently added software so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and as you click on it watch what happens you get this up here asking you to subscribe so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna subscribe to that then I'm gonna come back over here to the search and I'm gonna type in here daily genius okay and as you see it comes up so I click on daily genius and I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to daily genius before I go any further I, I want to talk about daily genius for a minute because the guys that own daily genius used to be the guys behind edudemic and what they did was they sold their company to another publishing company and they started daily genius it's basically the same website uh, they're sharing the same kind of content but I kind of like it better because it has their personalized style that they were using in Edudemic. So I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to that. Now, if you go over here, as you can see, everything that I add or everything that I search that I add to my subscriptions is start popping up here. Now, when you sign for the service, they require that you uh, choose three topics so when I was signing up for the service I chose movies tutorials and technology if you click on that then you can see like a 
plethora of uh, different pickings of what is in the news today about technology. Uh, the same for tutorials and how to's, and the same for movies. Okay, but let's get back to EdTech. When I go here to recently added software, it'll show you the most recently added offerings to their website, and then you can read the descriptions. And you can see, well, this is something that I can use in my class. This is something that I can use with my clients. Or this is something that I can use with my learners in general. So that's one way that I use this service to keep up with things that are out there that can help me to meet the needs of my learners or with clients that I'm working with.